guys, for this week's Species Spotlight, we're going to highlight the Julia butterfly. This butterfly is native all the way from Brazil down to South Texas and South Florida. So they're native in this area. Um, they obviously have these elongated orange wings. They are sexually dimorphic. That means that males and females look different. The males have a brighter orange wing. Um, while the females are slightly duller. So if I had to guess, I would guess that this guy is a male. Um, they start off as eggs, just as any butterfly would. They lay um, their eggs on any passion vine um, species, so like corky stem passion vine. We have a lot of those down here in the garden. Um, they lay their eggs, they're yellow, elongated, and laid singularly, so each leg is, egg is laid alone. Once that egg hatches, it'll be a small caterpillar. As caterpillars, they have a brown body with white spots and black spines, similar to those zebra longwing caterpillars that um, we showed in a previous species spotlight. Uh, they eat, of course, the passion flower, that's their host plant. And in doing that, they acquire um, toxins, some chemicals, it's actually cyanide from that plant that the caterpillars take up and makes them um, almost poisonous to maybe some birds that would prey upon the caterpillar otherwise, um, which is brought into the butterfly. So when it emerges as a butterfly, it's also toxic to some birds. So for that reason, a lot of other butterfly species will mimic its coloration and in an effort to deter predators. You'll see the same thing with monarchs um, uh, and things like that. They're so poisonous that as caterpillars, if you um, those black spines that they have actually emit a yellow liquid uh, that has that poison in it that would actually give you a rash. Um, down below we have a zebra longwing flying right past. So they, uh, as I said, we had them in a previous species spotlight. They are a similar species. They have the same host plant, the, the passion vine plants, and they have that elongated wing shape as well. butterfly would. Um, females also will eat the pollen though, which gives them extra nutrients that helps them in producing eggs. Um, and males do a unique thing too. So they'll actually go to the ground and it's called uh, mud putting, mud puddling, and they'll drink water from mud and actually take up nutrients from the water. So he's hanging out right here. They'll take up nutrients that helps them in reproduction. Another interesting thing that these butterflies do is actually go to turtles or crocodiles and they almost kind of harass their eyes. They'll play around with their eyes, make the animal tear up, start producing tears and drink the water from that animal's tears. Um, the females will mate four times in their life, which is uh, three more times than most butterflies. And they'll live less than a month old, but still a little bit longer than a lot of butterflies. Um, now they're chrysalis. I was talking about how they're, um, as a caterpillar, they have those spines. As a chrysalis, they look almost like a dead leaf, similar to that zebra longwing as well. Mostly brown with some silver coloration in there. And yeah, thanks for joining us for this week's Species Spotlight. Hope to see you next week.